hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore 3d cursor in blender software 3d cursor is a point which you could see in the center right now it's lo it looks white and red dotted circle with a cross hair so this is a multi-purpose tool it is mainly used to snap things to it and uh, when you create objects the objects are created at the 3d cursor so there are a lot of use so in this video we'll exclusively see how to uh, relocate and uh, see basic options related to it the first thing is uh, uh, you could see the cursor is sitting in the center and there's a tool here in the toolbox so if i normally click anywhere with my selected tool there's nothing really happening but if i select the 3d cursor tool and then just click anywhere the cursor's position from world origin has shifted there so if i just start clicking anywhere every time you click the position keeps changing you can click and drag also and it, it generally moves along with the, your cursor so if i just exit it and it doesn't move at all so this 3d cursor can also be edited from the sidebar here and in sidebar you have item you got tool and you got view so in the view section you have 3d cursor and you have modified the position or location of this 3d cursor and you also oriented the 3d cursor here so i can generally put the cursor on the attribute here and hit backspace so the values will be reset okay so you if you want to move the cursor uh, using this view you can always enter the value and then it uh, it just shifts its position to that place okay like that and uh, if you can if you right click on this you have an option to s reset all to default values will make the cursor go back to the origin okay so this is from the sidebar and then i'm going to uh, you know um, move this sidebar using uh, the cursor i mean mouse without accessing that tool in the toolbox so how do i do that i hold shift and right mouse button and the, the cursor will move from that point uh, to this point here just i need to click anywhere shift and right mouse button you can also click and drag so it moves with your cursor and then i just uh, go to the orthographic view and then go closer to this and then have a look on um, the cursor carefully in relation with the grid okay so right now if i could see this cursor is in the middle and then when i am holding shift and right clicks it, it's moving like that but if i hold control it precisely jumps one unit from that point and i can keep snapping like that okay so this works when you hold control okay and then if i come back to the perspective view i'm pressing home button and then navigating it back to the default now you have uh, as you see uh, change the cursor position from the sidebar you can change that from the toolbox and you can use shift right click and you can change and you can also do that by pressing shift s on the keyboard and then you get a menu here which gives up a lot of tools related to the selection and related to the cursor cursor so cursor to grid is one thing so i need to go to the top view and then see shift s and then okay i just uh, shift s and then choose cursor to grid will make the cursor snap to the grid point which is nearest to it okay so it's not to the grid right now as you see i can snap it to the grid like that you have another option cursor to world origin where the cursor jumps and moves to the origin of this viewport you have cursor to select it what is that actually does let's say if i have got this object and i'm moving it here 
and it has got a point which is basically anchor point or pivot point okay so if i press shift s and then say cursor to the selected the cursor jumps to the selected object but it's not moving why because i've not selected it so select that shift s and then cursor to selected then the cursor moves from that point to that point okay and uh, if i uh, see one more option cursor to active so what is cursor to active um, there's a confusion here basically like uh, i've selected this object uh, often we have a we will have a doubt that whether is it a selected object or an active object what's what's wrong with this so uh, this object is both active and selected but uh, when i create uh, multiple objects okay and then select these objects one after the other so if you could see this orange color is the active object and four are selected objects okay so if i press shift s and then cursor to active it jumps to the orange color box okay so when you select multiple objects the last selected object becomes the active object not only that if you are basically using um, um, uh, a sphere basically okay as you could see it, it uh, when i created the sphere it went to the origin so let me not origin to the cursor so shift s cursor to the world origin then shift a and then create the uv sphere and then frame it then you should able to see this model is in object mode i mode i go to the edit mode and then start selecting the faces okay and when i select multiple faces here these all faces are selected but this white color is active so if i press shift s and say cursor to active so the cursor jumps to that active face center so that is what active means here okay so move this uh, cursor there okay but before that i just move uh, move the cursor to the origin then create a cube okay i move the cube there tab one select the vertex okay now i've selected the vertex you could see here then if i press shift s and there is an option called selection to the cursor and you should able to see that vertex snapped to the cursor so this is how generally cursor can be modified and used in some aspects and there are a lot of ways which you can explore and i'll be discussing that in my future tutorials but uh, that's very important tool in blender and unique to to the blender okay